Hello and welcome to Pluralsight and to this course on Linux Systems Programming. I'm Dr Chris Brown. This is Module 4. It's called The Command Line, The Environment and Time. As you can guess from the title, we've got a slightly mixed bag for you in this module. First, we're going to look at how you can access the command line arguments that are passed to your program and deal with the slightly tricky business of parsing out and handling command options. Next, we look at the environment, a fairly straightforward topic, and we'll compare the use of command options and environment variables as a way to pass configuration information to a program. Then we'll move on to a subject that you would think would be entirely straightforward, but is surprisingly tricky, time. And I'm not talking about the strange things that happen if you're traveling near the speed of light, uh, but we're going to look at the various ways of representing time in Linux and the functions that convert between those representations. That will get us involved with time zones and locales. And we'll see how you can measure process execution times. As the course progresses and we learn more about systems programming, our demonstration programs are building in complexity. Now, as you're well aware, it's common to pass arguments to a program when it's started from a command line or when it's invoked from a script. Here, we've got a program called Do Stuff, and we're passing it three arguments, apple, orange, banana. Now, the way that you access these from your program is via two parameters passed into main. You can call them anything you like, of course, because C associates arguments with parameters by position, not by name, but you'd be flying in the face of convention if you call them anything other than argv and argc. Now, argv points to an array of pointers to strings, and these point out to the command line arguments. Each string is null terminated. This array of pointers has a null at the end. The type of argv is pointer to pointer to char. And you'll sometimes see it declared, as I've just shown here, but some programmers are squeamish about seeing two asterisks in a row, so I prefer the style that I've shown. The other argument, argc, simply tells us how many arguments there are. Notice that this includes the program's name, which is passed as argv0. So here's a little program that walks along the command line, printing out its arguments. It's basically like the program echo. And you see we simply loop an integer index i from 0 up to argc, and then we use it to index into the argv array and print the values out. This is fairly straightforward. Here's another example. This is a program that expects exactly one argument to be supplied. In other words, we expect argc to be 2. If it isn't, we print out an error message, which consists of the word usage, then the program's name, which we pick out as argv of 0, and then the word file, to give the user a hint that he was supposed to supply a file name as an argument. If all's well and the user did remember to supply a file name, then we go ahead and use it, retrieving it as argv1. 